Hello, my name is Russell Fox and I'm a student at the University of North Carolina Charlotte. I'm making this video to demonstrate how my security system works. It's a project that um, I've completed for my microcontrollers class. It has two main components which consists of an AVR butterfly board and a home PC that's running a graphical user interface um, from LabV. That's what the code's written in. The uh, AVR butterfly board has an LCD display, also has a piezoelectric speaker, and a ADC input, analog to digital converter input. And the piezoelectric speaker, we're going to pulse width modulate it to, uh, to make a, an alarm noise for our uh, security system. So just to give you a little background on the AVR butterfly board, the LabVIEW program is um, simply talking to the butterfly board through a USB to serial port connection. And um, that's pretty much how it works. So let's uh let's get in the demonstration. So this is the butterfly board. And as you see the L C D display is displaying a message that is saying alarm disabled, which means that the alarm is not on. So if we wanted to turn our alarm on what we would do is come here. There's two main components on your uh, graphical user interface. There's a write and there's a read. These two are virtual buttons that you click on with a mouse. It's the same thing as pressing a button. Pretty much turn it on. It's a uh, got a mechanical action of a not momentary, it's a, a latching switch. So you press it, it's on, it stays on, you press it again, it turns off. So that's how it works. So we need to write some characters in here and we want to tell it that we are going away. So we type in away, then we press our button. Okay. you look at the LCD display, notice it's saying alarm enabled. So the state that this, uh, this butterfly board is in right now is it's monitoring the analog to digital converter and noticing if a voltage greater than 5 volts is, uh, is placed on the input. We can also check the state on our graphical user interface here by simply clicking read and it tells us alarm enabled. This little backslash s is how the serial port communication is recognizing a space. So I could do away with that, but it doesn't really matter. And again, the LCD is monitoring the motion detector, or in our case, a uh, simulated motion motion detector. So what I'm using for 5 volts to simulate the motion detector is this butterfly board right here. It has a 5 volt output that we can use for simulation purposes of that motion detector. I already have the ground side hooked up, so let's go ahead and enable the motion. This is kind of challenging to do with uh, one hand. Okay, so now if you notice the 
LCD is now displaying motion detected. That means that it has seen 5 volts. Somebody is now in the house. And at this point, I want to show you what would happen if we enter a wrong code or password. Let's just say one, two, three. Let's write that to our butterfly boy. That noise you hear is a pulse width modulation on the piezoelectric speaker. Get the speaker a little bit closer, maybe you can hear it. What happens is that alarm remains on until you put in the proper password and of course still says motions detected so basically our alarm has been turned on via a motion so what we want to do now is put in our password Once we do that, the alarm is off and the system is again disabled. As you notice on the LCD output. Well, at this point, I'd like to thank you for your time and watching this video and hope you have a good day.